welcome back to Valley View Live. Big belt buckles and barrel racing take over the South Point Arena this weekend to raise money for our local neonatal intensive care unit at Las Vegas Spring Valley Hospital. Events like this bring our community closer together and makes our city a much better place to live. Event coordinator Marla Stevens is here to tell us all about the charity barrel race. Thank you, Marla, for being here today. You're dressed up. I, I, lo <laughs> I love the look. Thank We're you. going country. That's right. Perfect time to have time. Perfect here. time. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so what is what's happening at the South Point this week? Yeah. We put on a charity barrel race. All the proceeds from the race go to the Spring Valley Hospital Neonatal Intensive Care Unit that saved our daughter Bailey's life. She's the inspiration behind the uh, race. Bailey, how old is Bailey now? She just turned five. Okay, how is she doing? Because she was, if she was in NICU, obviously there were some issues, right? What's she was the in the NICU then? for four months. Wow. Four and it was months. quite a journey. They actually never her. expected her to make it. Really? They actually had us go and kiss her goodbye. They said that <gasps> she would never survive. And so from that moment on, you said, my mission in life is to really give back. My husband said, we have to have faith and belief. She's going to be okay. So yeah. that became the motto of our race is have faith and belief. Have faith mm -hmm. and belief. And so when people get there today, will Bailey, will this weekend rather, will Bailey be there? Oh, she's there blowing kisses and waving and <laughs> just totally unaware. You know? What has she learned from all of this, you think? I, I don't. <laughs> At this point, she just knows that a lot of people know who she is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I, I hope that it inspires her to have a giving heart. Yeah. And that she learns to give back to people and be appreciative. And how long have you been doing this? This is our fifth year. Fifth year. Mm. Okay. And so how has the event evolved over the course of time? Well, we had this idea while we were in the, in the intensive care unit that we should, you can't just leave after an experience like this and not thank right. these amazing people who gave us this gift. And so we just thought, we'll send a letter to the Gone family <laughs> and see if they would be willing to help us out and never imagined how generous they would be to us. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely amazing. And the South Point has been absolutely fantastic to us. Why have you decided to team up with South Point? Well, they have the best equestrian facility uh, anywhere. In my opinion, they have the best equestrian yeah. facility anywhere. It's amazing. You know, 1,200 climate controlled stalls. The, the facility is, is wonderful. The ground is the best, so. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's talk about, are you familiar with barrel racing? No, I'm not. I was going to ask her, what is it and can we demonstrate here today? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll be your human barrel. You know, you know what you need is well, there you go. Um, you need us like from romper room? Right, okay. right. Um, we set up a, a, a pattern um, with three barrels. Uh, the contestant comes in the arena as, Pictures as right fast as they, they choose to go. That's actually my mom. Um, they, uh, right, my, my mom competes and beats me on a regular basis. Oh, <laughs> wow, hi mom. hi, mom. Hi, mom. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so um, fastest time wins. This is a divisional barrel race, so you don't have to have the fastest horse out there to actually win a check or win a buckle. We give away 15 buckles over the weekend, 15 jackets. Mm -hmm. And thousands and thousands of dollars. And thousands and thousands of dollars. And so how has Spring Valley Hospital really responded to all of this over the years? I think that they, they were a little surprised that we actually pulled this off. And now they're just on board to help us with whatever we want. Our mm -hmm. plan this year is to buy some gift cards for parents that find themselves in the NICU. If right. I could pay their electric bill or help them buy some groceries. Right. Because it's really rough to be in there. At any you given spend, time, yeah. uh, I was going to ask, at any given time, how many families are, are they helping do you, do you have any idea? It just sort of depends on, on the, you know, the cycles, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. What we've done there, we started uh, a scholarship fund for the nurses in the NICU, and that evolved into we tried to make the waiting room, and there's a parent's room there, a place of hope where you yeah. feel like someday I'm going to leave here with this baby. Yeah. We bought some materials for the nurses, some educational materials, and also some educational materials for the parents that find themselves there. Because you're there day in and day out, right? I have a, a couple of my cousins who've been in the NICU, and I've experienced that, where you go and visit them every day because they're premature, or whatever right. it may be, and that becomes your life. Absolutely. A lot of, like, in what is it, oncology departments where people or parents or families find themselves at Ronald McDonald House, the right. NICU is a whole different type of experience. Can it really is. Can you describe that just a little bit more? Um, there's a lot of, it's a roller coaster. Because the baby, and especially in Bailey's situation, we had highs and lows and really good days and really dark days there, too. Yeah. Days where we weren't sure she was ever going to leave. Oh, but Bailey is all better oh, now, and she yeah. is a survivor. <laughs> the buckles and right. barrels for Bailey Charity Race is this weekend at the South Point Arena. To learn more, head to the website right there on your screen. Go nowhere. Have fun this weekend. We'll be right back.